Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video, we're talking chains. It's sort of a this and that because I am going to ask you a question, and then we're going to discuss five things about chains that will help us in our crochet journey. So, Chains really are one of the foundations of crochet. You can't hardly make a blanket, a hat, a scarf, or anything without knowing how to make a chain. Are your chains bumpy? Are they tight? Are they loose? Do you chain too many or not enough? Well, I'm going to give you five things that will help you with your chains. Okay? So grab some extra yarn that you're not using, and I'm going to use some of this chunky yarn and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I guess the question really is, how are your chains and are you happy with them? <laughs> I think that I can always improve on my chaining. And so I'm going to show you, like I said, five things that will help us along. So for today's demos, and don't worry, they're short demos, I'm using some bulky number five yarn that I have on hand, and I have three different crochet hooks here. I have a, let me turn them over here. I have a J, which is a six millimeter. I have a K, which is a 6.5 millimeter, and I have an L, which is an eight millimeter. And I have these three hooks because I'm going to talk to you about some of the sizing and what can happen. All right, so I'm going to use the middle size, which is the K, 6.5 millimeter. So the question here is, number one, when you're making your beginning chain, and we're going to be talking about the beginning chain on all five of these demos, when you're crocheting, do you crochet too loose? Now, when you are making something, a lot of times we do want you to crochet just a little bit loose, because the average crocheter does crochet too tightly, okay? But if you're crocheting so loose that your loops are gaping, then what you can do is if the pattern calls for a K, go down to a J, it'll tighten up your stitches just a little bit. And see now they're not gaping. So the number one hint is, or demo, is if you're using a size hook and your chain is too loose, go down one hook size. Also measure to make sure you're not going down too far. Okay, so if you're chaining your beginning chain and it's too loose, go down one hook size. So now there's another problem. I'm chaining too tight. And a lot of patterns you need to chain a little tight, but not real tight because you won't be able to get your hook in. So here's, I'm using the J hook, six millimeter, and I'm just chaining along. And then it's time to work and I can't get my stitch in there, or my crochet hook in that stitch. And then, so then that is just too tight. All right, so if you tend to be a tight crocheter, go up a hook size and again that will loosen up that stitch for you. It's really important when you're doing the opposite side of the chain and what that means is we've stitched down one side and we've turned and we're stitching down the other side. We use it a lot in say making slippers and bags that we want you to stitch on both sides. Some bonnets are made that way and so if you're stitching too tightly go up a hook size and that will loosen up those stitches just a little bit and it's really important not to stitch too tight because if you're making say a washcloth and the bottom of your washcloth's here and, and then it starts flaring out a little bit that doesn't look pretty and you can't do anything about it because the chain is set okay and it's the same thing if you stitch too loosely then everything's a little bit wonky and it's not going to have a nice crisp look all right, so number one, if you stitch too loosely, go down a hook size. Number two, if you stitch too tightly, go up a hook All size. Right. Tip number three, or question number three, I keep losing count. I've got to stitch 100 chains, and I keep losing count. 
<laughs> use some stitch markers. All right, and what I mean by that is what I do is I'll chain 20 if it's really long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so then I'll take my stitch marker and mark that 20th stitch. Okay, so my chain stitch is marked, and then I can chain 20 more. And then as I chain each 20, I put a stitch marker in. Then I don't have to keep recounting. It's not a perfect system. You can still get off. I do sometimes. But it will help you so that you don't have to keep going all the way back, especially if you're watching a movie or something or another video or one of my videos. <laughs> So use those stitch markers to mark every 20, or if it's not even that long, you can mark every 10. Just a good way to help you not lose count, because that can be really frustrating. All right, so use those stitch markers and don't lose count. <laughs> All right, number four, the question that I get a lot is, I've counted and counted and counted, and then when I get to the end and I'm finishing my project for the first row, I don't have enough stitches. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to chain one. We're going to turn and we're going to do some single or some half double crochets. I said single, I meant half. Okay, so I'm stitching across. I'm watching my favorite Hallmark mystery movie or my favorite show, one of Sarah's videos. <laughs> All right, we've stitched across, and you think you've gotten it in every single chain, right? One half double crochet in each chain across, starting in the second chain from the hook. All righty, so you're stitching along, you're at the end, and you're like, hmm, that doesn't feel right. So you go back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <gasps> I'm supposed to have 14 half double crochets. What do I do? Well, for me, if it's just a short thing, I'll take it out and recount and fix it. But if you've done like 100 stitches or 200 stitches, you don't want to take it all out. What you can do, make sure you've counted correctly. And another way you can use those stitch markers is to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, put a stitch marker in, or 20, put a stitch marker in. Okay, and when you get to the end, if you're still off by one or two and you need that amount, you can do foundation stitches, all right? So if you're going to do a half double foundation stitch, you're gonna yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and just go through that first loop. That makes your chain. Yarn over and then finish your half double crochet, all right? And you can add as many stitches as needed and add your foundation stitches, okay? And then that will give you the one or two that you're off. It's the same thing if you um, say this is a row of single crochet, you can just do a single crochet foundation and add one or two or even three stitches if you're off. And this will eliminate having to undo it and recount everything. You know, make sure you've counted the amount of stitches that you need. And if you're off one or two or three, you can use foundation stitches to make it longer. Learn those foundation stitches. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I'm telling you, they're really not that hard. Um, the double crochet, you're doing the same thing. You're just going in, you're making your chain first, and then you're just finishing your double crochet. A lot of people have trouble finding that stitch. You can always take a stitch marker and mark where you made that chain and then when you go to do the next one, you know where to put your hook. And this is a foundation double crochet. Basically, you're making the chain first and then the stitch. Okay, so if you come up short a couple of stitches, whether it's single, half, double, triple, you can always do a foundation stitch two or three times in order to get the correct count. One thing that I do do when I do that <laughs> is I'll grab a needle and I'll take that tail of yarn once I've added the stitches that I need because I want it to lay better 
And I'll take that tail of yarn and I'll just make what I call loop stitches. They're just stitches like, oops, I guess I didn't get that all on the needle. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'll just go across the bottom where I added those stitches like this until I reach that last one, and then I'll leave the tail like that. That tail makes it look a little bit better than, you know, of course those are double crochets on a half double crochet, so they're standing taller, but it will make it look better when you go to, to weave things in. Um, it's just something that I do, you don't have to. All right, so if you're stitching along, you've counted all your stitches and you don't have enough, you can always use a couple of foundation stitches to get the right count the right count's important. So the last question is, I've chained the right amount that I need. I have double crocheted the right amount, but somehow I have two extra stitches. I have two chains that I'm not going to use. What do I do? Well, you can just leave them and turn as long as you've counted and you've got the right amount of double crochets needed for the project. And then when you're done, or even now, you can take out those chains if they're not needed. And it happens sometimes. Uh, make sure you've counted, you haven't skipped a chain somewhere. Because you can, I've, chipped, I've skipped a chain by accident somewhere. But if you've counted, maybe you've marked each 20 or 10 with your stitch markers. <laughs> I got a chain going on there. <laughs> And, it, and it's correct. You have the right amount of stitches you need for row two of your project, but you have extra chains. You can just take those out, okay? A lot of times I leave them um, until the project's done, and then when I go around to do a trim or to weave in my ends, I'll take them out then, okay? So don't panic. You can take them out as long as you've counted and you have the right amount of stitches. These are double crochets whether they're single, half, double, triples, double, doubles, whatever, as long as you have the right amount of stitches for row two that are needed, you can take those extra chains out. Don't panic. <laughs> well, I hope those tips will help you. Sometimes we try to overthink it and we'll count over and over and over again. And we've got it right just somewhere we maybe chain too many without thinking or got off count, even though we've used a stitch marker or something. You know, those are super simple things that we can do to make our foundation chains, our beginning chains work better for us. Also, I don't want you to be frustrated in your crochet because I love crochet and I want you to enjoy what you do. And you know, projects don't have to be perfect. I say this all the time. You do the best that you can and do what works best for you, all right? So the bottom line is this. If you're chaining too tight, go up a hook size. If you're chaining too loose, go down a hook size. If you're having trouble counting long chains, use your stitch markers. If you don't have enough ch uh, stitches, you can always add some foundation stitches to the end. If you have too many chains but your stitch count is right, take out some of them. Don't panic. <laughs> Enjoy your crochet journey. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.